guys and welcome to my next video. This one is about small cupboard organising. Um, as you can see, this is our middle cupboard in between mine and my partner's wardrobe. And I have organised some aspects of it, but it just isn't suitable for us at the moment. He hasn't particularly liked the way I've organised it, so I thought I'd go through the way that we've done that now. Okay, so as you can see, I'm sorry about the lighting, by the way. As you can see, I've already got, um, like, bin box and these toiletries in it. Um, and I was just watching me, like, his electric shaver and, and things like that. In my box, I've got things like feminine products, um, extra hair things I don't really use anymore. Um, just other items as well, like, um, maybe just some old, like, journals and things I didn't want to throw away. Um, but basically, if we've limited them both of these boxes, they're really big, they're from b and I'll show you, um, the unpacked version in a minute, because I've got a spare one, which I'm going to use to do the top of this video with. But the main reason I want to show you this is because, um, originally, my partner had his items in this little tub up here, um, and he liked that because we could just throw things in and pick it out without having to use a lid. Um, but there was a whole different setup. Um, and basically he didn't like the way I've done it now and I think it's really important to know um, what's practical and what's going to be used well for your family and he just kept needing things here as you can see so this is literally, I've literally just opened the cupboard I've just got out of the shower um, and I just thought I'd show you guys that it doesn't have to take very long to organise something I tried to make a corral and put in the social things but it just wasn't working Okay, so this is the flat pack version of the two boxes that I've already got in the cupboard. They're from B&M, they're two ninety nine each, so they're just under three pounds. Um, basically what they do is they snap in, they're really large and they're really quite durable as well. Like I've really, they're, they're working so well where I've currently got them. They've got a little place for your labels there, so you can say anything all right, but they're basically flat, flat out and then you've got this point where they pop into each other. It's big enough to fit maybe file documents in or if you want to do something like what I'm doing with your wardrobe or just, just keeping anything, you know, organised, they're really great for. Um, but yep, yeah, I'll show you how they go together. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just unfolding the box. As you can see, it goes together really simply. You have these little poppers on the side and they literally just snap into place like this. You do it on all four sides and that makes the box really stable. Um, we've got heavy things in there at the moment. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting all the miscellaneous items that we don't want in that tub because Ben wants to use that for his thing. So I'm just putting everything back into this box. Um, as you can see, there's photo albums and as I said, they're really heavy, but the box does hold up. So it's it's really great for that. Um, the lid just places on like this. Um, yeah, so there we go. And basically that's how it looks when it's all put together. I will put the label on later. And now I'm just putting all his items that he wants back into the little basket um, so it's easy for him to get to. Yep, so what I'm doing now is I'm just reorganising it. It doesn't have to necessarily be really different, like this way really isn't, but it'll work better for my partner and he's the one that accesses and things the most. So this is what's worked best for us and that's how we're going to do it now, but it looks better. Okay, so this is the way it looks now. As you can see, I still have to label that miscellaneous box there. The middle shelf hasn't really changed that much because this is things I access all the time, like my hair products and my makeup. Um, but the top shelf is really what has changed because that's where my partner goes. And now he can put all the things back and he will put it back after he's used them. Okay, guys, so once again, thank you very much for watching. I'm so happy that you tuned in once more. Um, I hope you found this helpful if you've got any small cupboards. As usual, you can go on my blog for more of this information, dayofnights.weebly.com. I'm also now on Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, so please check me out on there if you want to see more videos like these.